Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a really fun one, really quick one. It is going to be my April TBR. Um, if you guys have been following me for a little bit or been watching some of my booktube videos, you would know that I usually don't have a TBR. Like I was just so low, so if you hear like, you hear that I'm sitting on a bean bag. Yeah, so if you guys have watched my videos, you know I usually only have one TBR and it's usually a nonfiction because I try to read one nonfiction every month. Um, but last month was my first month actually having a TBR. I had four books on it, one of them being my nonfiction, and I actually accomplished my goal. So I'm going to do another TBR. Again, this is going to be very flexible, kind of like an ambitious TBR. Um, like the amount of books I could definitely read, but it's will I read these books? because I'm I tend to be a mood reader so it sometimes varies but this has been such a long intro you guys are probably wanting to see the books I'm wanting to read so I will just go ahead and jump into the TBR. We'll start with my nonfiction. I have Gospel 101 by Jeff Dodge. Um, I'm actually reading this for Gospel 101 a like course that the church teaches on how to share the gospel. Um, so yeah, I'm currently reading this. I should be finishing it in April, so that's why it's a part of my TBR. But I just decided to make this my nonfiction because it's a nonfiction that I'm reading already. So yeah, this is the first one on my TBR. Actually, all the rest of the books are a series, so my entire TBR is a series. And I apologize for that, but I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys. It is the Hopeless series. I have heard... A lot of mixed opinions about this series so first let me show you guys all of them so here's all five of the books that kind of go together so my reading order is based off of Colleen Hoover's book gram graphic thing she made it herself I'll post it right here that way you guys can see it but you can read all your perfects as a standalone and you can also read hopeless as a standalone but I mean, you would be missing out on three other books to go together. And her reading order is she said, read Hopeless. I have no idea what these are about. I just know it's Colleen Hoover, so I'm deciding to trust it. But I've been waiting for this book and I just got it. So I had to film this. So the cover. Anyways, I've heard this series is really sad. But yeah, it's about a love story. This is her version, um, Hopeless. And then Losing Hope is the same story, but it's from his version. So you get a little a little different things did that even make sense the same story in his perspective and the next one is then finding cinderella which i'm pretty sure is about their friends pretty sure if i'm messing this up just refer to the graphic but i'm pretty sure these are the three that go together and you read them like this and then to understand this novella you then read all your perfects fourth which is this is a book that i really wanted to read so I've heard a lot about it. It's a cheating trope, which I'm not usually into, or I feel like I've never actually read a book with a cheating trope, so I don't know if I like it or not, but I decided Colleen Hoover is a good place to start. So then you read this one, and then you read Finding Perfect, which is, oh, it's Finding Cinderella, but from his point of view. Finding Perfect is a short story that brings back several of Colleen Colleen's most beloved characters, told from the point of view of Daniel from Finding Cinderella, readers will finally get the conclusion they've been hoping for. Wow! Okay, so yeah, this is the reading order. I'm super excited. The books look so good. To just start this series, I don't know if I'll actually finish it, just because it is April 8th already and I have not started any of them, just because I got the first book today. Um, but yeah, Colleen Hoover is usually a super fast read, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Um, and then I actually, I actually have two more books on my TBR. Whoa, hold on. I will go grab them. I believe I almost forgot these, but this is my current read. It's My Dark Vanessa. I have the UK cover version, which I'm so happy about. I just have, I have to say, I think I started this in March. I'm on page 142. This book is just, it's good. Don't get me wrong. It is so good. And it's not putting me in a reading slump because I am reading. It's just like I can only read so much at a time because it is so dark and so deep and just like if it just impacts me like it's not it's not going to be like hopeless like it's not going to be like that. This book is just very intense and I would definitely look up content warnings for for yourself before choosing to read this um but it is good it's great writing i love i love it so far it's just really really hard um and if you guys have read the story you probably know why um maybe even relate to me but anyways i do hope to finish this in the month of april 
And then the last book I have is actually this is a really fun one. It is a normal people scripts. I'm currently re-watching the show and I'm just reading along with each episode. It's the exact same thing. So like everything that happens in the show is exactly written on here. I thought this would be more of like a more of like the rough edit type of thing where the actors like kind of go off of what this is. But no, this is I feel like they made the show and then they just copied everything that happened in the show into here. I could totally be wrong. The actors may just follow the script perfectly. But yeah, I'm on episode um, six or I'm about to start episode six. But yeah, I should finish this before the end of April just because it's the show and I'm reading along with the show. So it shouldn't really take me that long. Um, but if you do like Sally Rooney, you should get this. That is my very ambitious TBR. Hopefully you guys enjoyed like seeing what I want to read this month. At the end of the month, I will obviously like let you guys know which books I read in my reading wrap up. So you guys should definitely subscribe just so you can see that video that comes out. Um, but yeah, I am going to go do some homework and get ready for a talent show that I'm attending. And I will talk to you guys very soon. Peace and love. Bye guys.